So hi, my name is Cujo. I've seen a few people talk about writer's block the past few days, so I thought I'd just make like a little thing just to talk about what I think writer's block is to me personally. I don't think writer's block exists. I don't think that's a thing. I think other people feel similarly to me, but if you have writer's block, I actually think that this is what it is instead. So to me, writer's block immediately i just want to say i feel like writer's block is putting a judgment on the things that you create which is inevitable when we create things i think when we create things there's going to be things we make that we do like and things that we make that we don't like and a big part or thing for me was to basically just finally be like you know i don't give a shit if it's good or not i'm just gonna finish making the thing and then put it out because i found that people have different tastes and like different stuff there's been songs that I've made that I like can't even bear to return to. Notably, there's a song called Memento, which I did a terrible job mastering at the time, mixing and mastering. But I have a few friends that actually still return to that song and still listen to Memento by me. And it was also produced by Echo Noir. And I love you sad. You should go check them out. So to me, there's like two parts of the mind when you're making something. There's the mind part that's just making the thing. And there's the mind part that is criticizing, editing, and then judging the creation of the thing. So these these things can't coexist. Like if the judgment part is here, the creative part can't thrive. It's, it's like an overbearing parent kind of. You freeze when you're creating stuff if the judgment part of your mind is there. So to me, to make really good stuff for yourself, you have to remove the judgment portion and just let the creator create and just make a bunch of shit like dog shit really good stuff but there can't be really any judgment with it while you're making the thing it's afterwards when you're done making the thing that the judge or, or the person that comes in uh that edits it gets to decide if it's something that's good or something that's not and most of the time i found that when i make stuff I will like it at different points in my life. So the judger is most of the time just kind of wrong anyway. So the creator, I just always try to let that thrive and not uh, gatekeep my creative process or do anything with it. So anyway, what does that have to do with writer's block? So like I said, I feel like writer's block is basically these two things coexisting. Like you're trying to make something good and you're judgment is not allowing that to happen basically like the creator is trying to create but the judger keeps stepping in and saying well it's not good that's not good because the creator is always making stuff or the creator is just initially like you're always going to be naturally just making but it's the judgmental part of your brain that comes in and is like well i'm not getting any feeling or sensation from making this thing so uh, we can just scrap that but you need to do that afterwards you can't allow it to step in during the process so when people get writer's block basically this is my perception on what i think is happening and to get rid of writer's block is for me the process or the approach that i have with approaching getting rid of writer's block is just taking a step back from what i'm creating understanding that i'm a vessel for things to come through and that whatever I make is not a representation of me. It's basically the creator just trying to create. And the less that you restrict that with the judger, the better. And just let the judger exist separately from the creator. I also feel like writer's block can come when the creator gets bored of a certain process that you're trying to do. And, but then the judgmental or the judger keeps coming in and saying that this is what's worked in the past, so you need to do it. But the creator doesn't want to do that anymore. I actually don't have too much time to record this so that's just my general basic idea of what i think writer's block is i don't think it exists i think when it comes up that is what it is is it's actually a judgmental part of you looking at what you're making and being like yeah this is dog shit while you're making it so then you just lose all motivation to keep doing it i think you can look at things and be detached like i said earlier and really just decide if it's something that represents what you're trying to create or not but i don't think there's any initial failure in creation there's things that don't capture emotion as well as other things sometimes the worst pieces of art that i've consumed for me personally have gotten no reaction from me and it feels like a mess if i listen to it or i look at it that's some of my own pieces of art like videos or music too like i'm not exempt from it so still even then with that perspective i don't judge the art that i consume that i don't view as 
good, I guess. So yeah, just like extreme compassion with yourself while you're creating and no pressure on yourself will normally just allow the best things to come. And I don't experience writer's block. Like writer's block is not a thing for me. Sometimes I write stuff I like and sometimes I write stuff I don't like, but I hold on to it and then sometimes I even transform that same stuff later. So yeah, that, that's all I really have time for on recording this. Uh, I'm going to also record some stuff with some friends. So thank you for taking the time to watch this. Hopefully that helps you if you feel like you get writer's block. Just a general idea is I feel like there's two parts of your psyche and that if you can kind of either separate them into two different processes or have them coexist in a compassionate way, then I think that that will help you with your writing process or your creative process. At least that's what's helped me with mine because I feel like I um experienced writer's block in the past and then i realized this is a thing that is an excuse for me not to make the art so anyway yeah thank you for taking the time to watch this i love you and goodbye now oh.